So this is a men here, or a standing stone. But as you can see, it is no longer standing. It has fallen over. And this crack in it, I assume, is from freezing and thawing. So this was originally a vertical stone. And these are not as common in this area as they are in the British Isles. They're very common in the British Isles. <laughs> Nuts falling on the car. Now, unlike a, a dolmen or a passage grave or covered alley, um, the menhirs tend not to really be associated with a burial. Um, we don't know, don't really know what they were used for. They could have been uh, some, some sort of a sign, um, a territorial marking, a boundary marking, um, a road marking, because yes, people did have roads back in the Neolithic. Now, they probably did use uh, ropes to prop these things up and put them into place. Um, but the, even the little information board here has shows them like rolling it over logs. But um, archaeologists now think that they didn't really do that because it doesn't really work. Because imagine it, you're, it's not like they had paved roads. But so while they did have roads, they didn't have paved roads. And um, when they have experimented with rolling these large rocks over logs, it doesn't really work that well. It's actually easier to just drag it. Like sometimes the simplest explanation is the answer. Now there seems to be a piece missing to this one. So uh, this was probably a much larger men here. When more modern people started coming across these large structures, they didn't, because they didn't build them, they didn't know who built them. And in medieval times, people thought that the devil built them because only a demon could lift these huge rocks. So a lot of times they would deliberately destroy these megalithic structures because they thought they were from Satan and the Catholic Church encouraged their destruction and they also the Catholic Church did not like that a lot of the country people would still use these megalithic structures for ceremonies and their pagan ceremonies and that really upset the church and so they would do everything they could to stop people from continuing to use these stone structures and so they would destroy them and they would tell people that they were from Satan and that you shouldn't mess with them and um and no, it wasn't aliens either. People did this, people could make things. People have always been really smart and really capable and people can do incredible things when they want to. And it's really doing people from the past a disservice to be like, it was aliens. So on the board where it talked about the law rolling, agreed that probably not on the flat ground because there's not flat ground unless on this road. But <laughs> if they build an incline that was purpose-built that was very well and very flat I think that the log rolling thing might work and might be beneficial from a from, from an engineering standpoint it makes sense that you could do that because it would reduce the friction and all that kind of stuff yeah. rolling but for just a very short distance for a very short but distance. they they act like some of these people act like they like we're just rolling it for miles I mean, and I guess down these logs would take log run up in front of the thing exactly it's like <laughs> like this is what they were doing yeah I think that's what that's what <laughs> some people thought they were doing also, the old local name for this was the Hand of the Devil, and you can see his claw marks on the side of the giant stone because only a devil could have lifted this enormous stone and put it into place. driving by and found this little bonus dolmen. A nice mossy capstone. See, they're, they're just everywhere out here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just on the side of the road. This is the men 
menhir de Belenec. Um, menhir is another word for standing stone. Menhirs are very rare in this part of France. Um, I read that there were seven in this little area though, but this is a really big one. <laughs> This one's very tall. How tall would you say this is, Jim? Uh, 20 feet. And it's not very wide. Or, well, it's, I guess you would say it's broad. Um, I wonder how deep this goes into the ground. I mean, in order to support this type of weight, like, what do you think? A couple feet. Maybe. This one is really special though to have one this size that hasn't fallen over and broken because that's very common with large menhirs. So this is a really nice example. So like I said, these sort of structures are pretty rare in this part of Europe. There's a lot more of them in Brittany and in the British Isles. Another theory about standing stones is that they represent the Neolithic axe. So it's just sort of a monument to the axe. I don't know, who can say? Maybe it's just a road marker. Maybe it's just shade for cows. But pretty sure the devil didn't put it here. <laughs> so why do you think they put these standing stones up here? Who do you think did it? Was it Satan? Was it aliens? Was it Neolithic farmers? <laughs> I think it was Neolithic farmers. Good guess. Jim gets an A+. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to know more about huge rocks and paleolithic art, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and have a megalithic day!